A local group is coming together to ensure the future of some of St. Joseph's historic properties. Our Kendra Simpson spoke with them today about what they have planned. The Shakespeare Chateau has been a home, bed and breakfast, abandoned, renovated and reopened thanks to Isabel McGowan and the Shakespeare Chateau Guild. The Guild is working to raise funds for the transfer of ownership and preservation of the privately owned bed and breakfast, along with its adjoining property at 819 Hall Street. This transfer of ownership will prevent further damage resulting from neglect of the home. This historic mansion, built in 1885, has been a monument to St. Joseph along with many other classical homes. The Guild believes the key to ensuring St. Joseph's prosperous future is by preserving the town's rich history. These buildings can contribute to the future. These can become our future. The motto of the Shakespeare Chateau Guild, what is past is prologue. So everything from the past really is telling you what can be in the future. McGowan purchased the home in 2012 and has since worked to restore its charm from repairing the original 47 stained glass windows to rehabilitating the wooden floors. The Guild hopes to use the properties to create a beacon for preservation, education, and community development. Through ongoing operation and management by the Guild, these historic buildings will go on inspiring tourism, arts, and preservation in St. Joseph for decades to come. To the economic um, prosperity and, and thriving of St. Joseph to preserve what is our identity. And if we lose it, if we tear it down, to replace it with what, a parking lot or maybe a low-slung, you know, cinder block building. Nobody comes from out of town to see the next Home Depot. <laughs> they do come from out of town to see this. And that's what makes this so extraordinary. It is the identity of St. Joseph. And if we tear down our identity, what do we have left? The group will host an open house of the two properties Thursday, August 10th from 4 to 6 p.m. St. Joseph residents are encouraged to attend to learn about the self-sustaining nonprofit and its invaluable presence in the community. Reporting for News Press Now, I'm Kendra Simpson.